Hi, this is Eric Appleton from the CUNY Adult Literacy Program. I'm making this video to show you how to use a non Gmail email address with a Google login. So you may need a Google login in order to use Google Classroom um, with your class. Um, you don't have to have a Gmail account in order to log into Google, uh, but you do need to register with Google um, using your current email address. So this can be more convenient so there, that you get your Google Classroom alerts for new assignments or other messages from the class. You'll get them at your regular email if you don't use Gmail. So I'm gonna show you um, how you can register for a Google login using a non-Gmail email address. The first step is to go to a website um, called accounts.google.com. You see that it, it went through automatically because I've already gone there, but you write, write down this address, it's accounts.google.com. And when you go there, it's gonna want you to sign in with a Google account. Um, let's assume right now that we don't have a Google account and we don't have a Gmail account. We don't have a way to sign in. And what you can do now is click on create account down at the bottom here on, on the bottom left. So we're gonna create an account. Um, it's asking if I wanna do it for myself or to manage a business, so it's for myself, right? It's a personal email or a personal login for Google. I click on for myself. And there's a little form for me to fill out here. Now, if you want a Gmail account, you can just use your, put, add a username here and it'll create a Gmail account for you. But, um, what I'm suggesting is if you already have email um, somewhere else that you already use, it's probably more convenient just to keep using that email for Google Classroom or whatever else you do with Google, also Google Drive, other Google tools, you don't need a Gmail account. Um, so I'm gonna fill out my name here, Eric Appleton. Um, but instead of saying add Gmail, I don't want a Gmail account, I'm gonna click here where it says use my current email address instead. And so when I click on that, now I can type in my, my personal email address. And so I have this other email address, it's ecappleton at protonmail.com. So I put in my normal email address that isn't Gmail. Uh, I put in a password whatever I want my password to be. I recommend that your password maybe is the same password that you use for your other emails. So it's easier to remember. Um, but that password can be anything you like. I think they want it to be at least seven characters and they may want you to use letters and numbers. Yeah, it says that here. At least eight characters with a mix of letters, numbers and symbols. Um, so then I hit next. And it's saying it wants to verify my email address. They sent a verification code to my other email, ecappleton at protonmail.com. So now I'm gonna to go to that other email account. And I'll show you real quick what that looks like. So this, let's see here. This is my other email account. Um, and you should be able to see that um, I have an email here from Google. So it says here, verify your email address. So I'm going up to the top here and there's this email that says, verify this email is yours, ecappleton at protonmail.com. Use this code 474831. So I need to take that code I wrote that code down. Now your code is going to be different, but I wrote that code down and I'm going to go back to where it wants me to be, e verify my email address. I'm going to put in the code here, 474, 
831, I'm gonna hit verify. Okay, so that the, the that email is verified now. They want my phone number. It's okay, I don't mind you have my phone number. This is my cell phone. Um, and my birthday. June 1971. And a mail. Um, and then I'm gonna hit next. Now they're gonna verify my phone number, so they're gonna text me real quick. And so I'm gonna check my messages. I got a code in on a text message, and I'm gonna put this code here. Seven five six one eight nine. I think I did that right. Seven five six one eight nine. Click verify. And and it looks like I'm in now. Uh, you can read the stuff you like. I'm just going to hit agree. And now I'm in a in a Google account, so I can now use this Google account in Google Classroom. We'll make some other videos to show you how to use Google Classroom, but just to show you that I can now log into Google Classroom. So I'm logged in here. It's asking me to continue to register my email address there. Um, but now I'm in Google Classroom. I could also go to Google Drive, which is a way, a place to, to um, you know, you can write documents, you can make spreadsheets, you can make presentations. Um, so I'm in Google Drive now and I can use, so I'm doing all of this using my normal regular email um, not using a Gmail account. Um, okay, and, and that's it. I hopefully hopefully that's helpful. Um, we'll make some other videos to help you um, with distance learning in the CUNY Adult Literacy Program. Um, please let us know if you have any specific requests. Thank you.